This week, Scar Studios shared a 10 minute video previewing gameplay for upcoming Salt and Sacrifice. The title was announced during Summer Game Fest 2021, which is the sequel to the hit 2D action RPG Salt and Sanctuary. The video features the newly forged Mark Inquisitor hunting down a deadly pyromancer. It also shows the number of monsters that live in Ashbourne Village. It previews some of the Brawl style combat from the Paladin class, one of the eight starting classes players can choose from. Want to know why the prequel Salt and Sanctuary made our top 10 Metroidvanias to play in 2021? Watch our video which lists a number of great titles including Death's Gambit, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night and more. Salt and Sacrifice will be releasing in 2022, so far confirmed for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 and PC. And now this week we've had some Cyberpunk 2077 news. It's been quite a bumpy ride for Cyberpunk 2077, but it looks like the RPG has finally made its way back to the PlayStation Store after being taken down by Sony after a number of refund requests. In order for the game to return to the store, CD Projekt Red had to fix a various number of issues with the game for it to be reinstated. The developer has released a short press release that shares that the game is now available on PlayStation 4 and via backwards compatibility for PlayStation 5. A free PlayStation 5 upgrade will be releasing for the game which will be coming in the second half of 2021. This will be made available for all PS4 version owners of Cyberpunk 2077, including both digital and physical copies. CD Projekt Red have said that the upgrade will take full advantage of the new console's more powerful hardware. According to the latest tweet from the official Cyberpunk 2077 account, it warns players users may continue to experience some performance issues with the PS4 edition while we continue to improve stability across all platforms. As it stands, PS4 Pro and PS5 versions will still have the best experience for Cyberpunk. But also this week, Microsoft have noted on the Microsoft Store that the special refund policy for Cyberpunk 2077 will be ending in early July. Come July 6th, Microsoft will return to the standard digital game refund policy for all purchases. As with all pieces of news in this video, if you want to read about more details, you can find them on the Factor Life website. We got a release window for the dark fantasy action RPG No Place for Bravery, which follows the lengths a parent will go to find their child. The title will launch in Q4 2021 for Nintendo Switch and PC via Steam. Players will embark on a journey in the dark fantasy world as the character Thorn, a retired soldier who is doing his best to put a blood-soaked past behind him. Upon hearing that his long-lost daughter is actually possibly still alive, Thorn goes on a mission across the world of Dewa, a terrible land ruled by giants in order to find it. The combat is described as white knuckle combat where movement matters and death is just a sword stroke away. Players will be able to slash, block and parry in fast paced demanding battles. The world is expansive and ready to challenge you with handcrafted encounters. The next character joining Genshin Impact is Kidahara Kazuha, who hails from Inazuma. This is the first character we're actually seeing from this upcoming region. A new trailer introducing the character was released for the action RPG. In the latest trailer, Kazuha is seen hanging out with Beidou upon her ship. This teases we'll be probably seeing more of the Beidou according to the trailer. The footage also hints about the backstory for Kazuha who's hunted down for his vision. There seems to be a bit of a history between these characters which hopefully gets unveiled when the character releases. Kazuo will add strong control and additional buffs to the team. Not only does Kazuo crowd control enemies but can deal additional elemental damage when it comes to contact with elements Hydro, Pyro, Cryo and Electro as his element is Animo. Genshin Impact is available on PS4, PS5, iOS, Android and PC. This week was the launch of Scarlet Nexus, the action RPG in anime style featuring characters with strange psychokinetic powers. A new live action trailer dropped proving the events of the in-game story about a strange hormone found in the human brain that gives people extra sensory powers. The abilities will be used to fight off mutants known as the Others. These enemies seem to be falling from the sky as something big is coming. In case you missed it, Scarlet Nexus is described as a brain punk action role-playing game that features dual narrative that follows two protagonists, Yueto Sumeragi and Kasane Randall. Scarlet Nexus promises fast-paced combat with an anime art style aesthetic. If you want to know what we thought of the game, you should check out our video, Scarlet Nexus Review Impressions, Is the Anime 
ARPG worth it gameplay. Scarlet Nexus is now available on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and PC. A demo for the action JRPG Neo The World Ends With You got a demo this week for Nintendo Switch and PlayStation. The demo version includes the beginning of the game, meaning you'll be able to explore a few areas, check out the team battle system and test out abilities with the original pin system from the prequel game. Those who take part in the demo will be able to carry over their progress so you can continue where you left off when the game launches. A new trailer was also released, the final one before the release of the game. The trailer previews some of the battles using the pin system showing off some of the moves. It also features the food system where players can ply their characters with delicious desserts which will give them a boost in stats such as HP or even style. Players will be able to take to the streets of Tokyo along with their party in the long-awaited follow-up to the RPG classic also titled The World Ends With You. Neo The World Ends With You will be releasing on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 on July 27th, 2021. It is later releasing in summer 2021 for PC via the Epic Game Store. The Fable title was revealed at the Xbox Games Showcase last year and many hoped a new trailer may appear during E3 2021 this year. However, this was not the case. This means we're still awaiting a progress update on the game's development under Studio Playground Games. While there aren't many details surrounding the game, a recent podcast between Xbox head Phil Spencer and Dropped Frame shared a small update on Fable. Spencer talks about the developer Playground Games, sharing that fans should have every confidence in the studio and that the developments and that the development team are amazing. The podcast, however, did cover a number of different topics, and this is just a small update on Fable and hopefully this gives fans some assurance that it's in the right hands, at least in Spencer's eyes. Fable has been announced to be coming to Xbox Series X, PC and Xbox Games Pass. Spider's studio has announced that Greedfall will be getting a new gold edition of the game launching next week on June 30th. This version enhances the game's visuals and adds a new content expansion. Those who already own Greedfall will receive the performance enhancements through a free upgrade and save files will transfer across from PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions. For PlayStation 5, as well as Xbox Series X and S, players can look forward to enhanced visuals with up to Ultra HD native 4K visuals faster loading and 60fps performance. There is also the new content expansion DLC called the Divespe Conspiracy, which adds a new chapter to the adventure. This includes a new area which was previously undiscovered in Tier 3D, a story that holds conspiracies and secrets. There's also a new enemy faction, new beasts and new gear to gain. Greedfall Gold Edition and the Divespe Conspiracy DLC will be launching on June 30th on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One and PC. Well that's it for the week in the wikis, please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits and budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community, keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams and vids and general wiki goodness.